welcome back to the show. Well, there's nothing worse than a dirty boot. Is there, Eckford? <laughs> Sounds like a joke in there somewhere. I'm not sure. Katrina May joining us, uh, spokesperson for Blundstone. Not only great boots, but we're going to learn how to take care of stuff as well this Hello. time of year. Hi. Hi, Katrina. Nice to meet you. Tell us about the brand Blundstone. It's been around for a little while. Just a couple of years. Oh, uh, yeah. Just maybe uh, 1870. It's been around. Um, actually, it's only been here in Canada for 18 years. Yeah. So uh, you got a lot to so catch up So you're just teenagers here in Canada. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, for anyone that owns a pair, I do. Both my boys do as well. They are incredibly comfortable and well-wearing boots. This you can is this a brand is a new happy boot. This is the classic original Blundstone boot. That's how it looks when it's brand new. But what happens to it after time? Yeah, voila. it gets loved. That's Hello, what happens. It's a little love. <laughs> the thing really, is, these were the same in the beginning. Absolutely, they were born the same. They were born the same. But see, when they're not looked after, um, this this is pretty much at the end of its life. But somebody gave it to me. I saw them. I said, "What are you doing to your boot? It needs a drink. It needs complete." So that's not a good. I I always kind of like them when they get like the, that. The thing is, we have to be careful because some of our customers come in the store and I see them. We just want to pounce on their feet. So you can't do that. <laughs> Give me your shoes. <laughs> now you said he's them. thirsty. Yeah, because totally. all he needs is a drink. Yes. So this is the first most important thing we need to learn about is a conditioner. You have to condition your boots. Right. And you have a leather conditioner that's a saddle. Leather? Saddle and leather dressing. You mm -hmm. want to play with this stuff. This is oh, seriously as good is that. So am I, <laughs> am I giving this oil of ole or am I doing this? It's so salad. close. I don't so know. So you moisturize your face so you should moisturize your boots. Sometimes I get your face is like leather <laughs> if you don't. No, My face looks like a, a boot some Sunday mornings. But <laughs> Do you want, who wants to try? Are you doing it? Give it up. You don't know, no cloth. Really? Yep, no. Just with my hands? Absolutely. You want me to do it? You want to save your hands? You play with some too. Yeah. So the, that's the most important thing is to let, oh. Is that a lot? It's just a little lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't tell you that. No, can you it. bring a pair of boots like this back? To, yeah. Like, you know, see. Oh, you can see it already. Well, the best part is this is a stranger's boot. <laughs> and I am just rubbing it. Just okay, rubbing so I'm going to show you how color comes out. Now, if you have a conditioner, the most important thing is you'll notice it's a neutral color. So it'll start to bring the natural wow. colors of the leather to come back. Look at that. So all of That's the color crazy. will come back. I didn't put back. too much on, didn't I? So you yeah, should but do I this by hand, you. no cloth. Is that absolutely? And you will be tempted to put it on your face. It's good for your hands. <laughs> Did you just do that? <laughs> <laughs> you really are Australian. Australian. Are you? It's a same idea. I'm telling you, I love the stuff, and and it really is. It, that is probably the most important thing in looking after your boots, as far as them lasting longer, not cra not cracking. Now the next preventative measure is Get more in the toe. Well, that's the thing. This is all better now. Extra, doing this extra love doing in the that? toe. <laughs> we should give him the dirty boots to clean yeah, it. Dirty <laughs> Dirty boot. What, you, what should you do? Because a lot of people get muddy. Of course, we've got tons of rain in Vancouver, and your boots can get yes. really dirty. What I, is the best way to clean them? Best way to clean Actually, this guy. First of all, a damp cloth is going to do it. Now, I tried to dirty these up, and I asked all the boot staff if they had dirty boots. But of course, we're trained well, so we don't. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so you um, had to actually dirty them. Uh, I was outside in a puddle and some mud going, do they look dirty? Did people think you were crazy? They did. They Excellent. did. But it was near the back of an alley, and I really think oh, I, so that's I was fine, completely fine. Seems a good, good place to clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? So basically to clean them, so you're conditioning, so there's two different things. Kay. To clean them, it's just a damp cloth and this guy, which is vinegar and water. One part vinegar, three parts water. Now, will that work to take away salt stains? That is the perfect thing for is salt. Is it really? Because, yeah. you know, you can ruin a pair of shoes yeah. with the salt stains, but it's just vinegar and water. Vinegar and water, it's all you need. Um, like I said, wow, well, one part vinegar, three parts water. If you get it wrong a bit, it's not going to do any damage. Don't worry. Ooh, really? Jealous. So look at this, right. right? This is going to help, because it's wax-based, it's going to help keep the water off. The water won't come into your boot. The, the best thing is to have a boot with as least amount of seams as possible. Right. Um, clearly, anything Perfect. with yeah. laces is not, I mean, it's just inviting water saying, come and wet my foot, basically. <laughs> so water come in and here. And look how moisturized my hands are. Okay, uh, we've got some great advice for boot buying, too. You say take preventative buying measures. What does that mean? That means basically the, le the less amount of seams as possible. Okay. You don't want seams so all one. over the place. Step two. Is Step two is dry out moisture. I mean, we live in a rainy this spot. Is all so you what need. should you do? It's as simple as this. You put that on the inside. Pop it in the boot. This You're is kidding a, me. This is a wet boot, really. Seriously, it ain't Just rocket newspaper. science. Newspaper and stick it. I've it never heard that before. Too. It keeps its shape. It, it will draw out the water, and so that's the best way. Don't put them near a heater. Don't put them. It needs to dry it really? naturally. That's the most now, important. Now, what about thing. weatherproofing? The moisturizing that, is, that uh, yeah. does it. Is there anything else you can do? 
there's nothing better than that stuff, really? to be honest. But yes, <laughs> there, there are other products. You know, there's things like, it doesn't have to be specifically these ones, um, you know, where it's just waterproofing. But just make sure there's a conditioning element, not just, just focus on conditioning as well as waterproofing. And what about polishing your boots? If you're moisturizing, obviously it's bringing the color back. Do you really need to polish them as well? You don't need to, but the, the advantage to polish is it will act as a, a barrier as well. So even it's making it tougher for any water to get in. Right. So that's probably what you want to do as a safe backup. There's a very therapeutic element to this you. as well. It's very zen. He's totally, I forgot you were jealous you were of the boot, so he just grabbed it away from me. Now, when you Everybody buy your boots. Everybody loves rubbing the booty. Right <laughs> really? One joke, that's all I need to make, and then I'm out. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> How long should a pair of these boots last you for if you do take all the steps to care well, for them properly? That's a loaded question. I've got to be very careful with what I say here. They you can, can make last them last longer if you care for absolutely. them. Absolutely. <laughs> um, most of my boots, we get customers that have really looked after them and they will get, they can get any, anywhere up to 15 years from yeah. them. You know, you get the steel toe workers and they'll yeah. bang them up. I mean, and, and we're quite like, they walk in, we're like, are you serious? How did you even do that? Like, they'll total them. <laughs> um, and they might get two, boots. two or three years out of them, but for, for, for the men that have to be in, you know, can imagine what they're doing to them. But I'd say on average, definitely should be able to get four to six years easy. Wow. Um, but they are guaranteed I for two years. I see you're redoing the parts that I did. Well, I just... Well, is it not done right? No, I'm just fascinated by how much, I mean, because they're old, I can't believe how much of this it'll actually absorb. You yeah. can see how Somebody dry they were. Somebody abandoned these. So sad. I, I pounced on this customer, actually. I said, <laughs> give me these boots. I mean, they have, they were so thirsty that I really couldn't. Poor little so guys. Thirsty. Look, we saved them. And this we is where you do life. polish. You so, do polish where you see it's where, getting where, a Yeah, where it's warm. Sort of beyond, uh, definitely. But they're the tricks to keep in. Get a good moisturizer, use some vinegar to clean them off. Uh, done and done. And that's pretty much get it. A few in more of your boots. So get you a can pair visit of Blundstones. Blundstones. They're located on uh, 4th Avenue in Kitsland. If you want to check them out, the website's on the screen. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more right after this. Don't go away.